Okay, hello guys, it's me Matsbeho and I'm back with the new redstone tutorial. Today I'll show you how to make an end gate. Um, here you see the construction. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you how it works. When you switch that button, uh, that uh, resident torch turns on. And when you off, I mean, and when you press that too, uh, both of them will uh, turn off, and this one will turn on. That will lead to this one and make that turn off. And uh, th that's the same over here. When you press this, all of them go off, and then this, uh, the last one, will activate the piston that will turn up. Uh, uh, that will activate uh, the the ending or something. So let's say if you need uh, like four thing, you four wool or you need four blocks of uh, something that you have to place there, and uh, then. Uh, and then you have made it so it's a uh, uh, end gate. Uh, how am I supposed to explain this? Um, if you have a quest or uh, adventure map or something, and you are supposed to place down a, I know a block or something inside a hole like this, and then it's an end gate behind end gate, so, uh, and you place that. Uh, or I'll use this one. And you place that um, in the middle. Uh, one of them will turn off, if you know what I mean, because they stands on all of them. So um, yeah, I'll show you how to make a uh, uh, end gate. So let's start. I'll just do as I did in on the other one. Make it twice as big. So it's very simple to make, and there, do the same here, okay, and then you have to link two redstone, or to link this one uh, together, like, like on the other one. So there you go, um, this is how you make a uh, redstone inverter, um, <laughs> redstone inverter, I mean end gate. So I'll just uh, test that this work, um, it seems like, yeah there you go. So that's basically it, this is how you make an uh, end gate. So hope you enjoyed, uh, rating it's much appreciated, remember to subscribe to the Norcraft and See you guys next time. Bye.